Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over to see what I'm doing in my craft room today. I have this printable for you today. This is July 2024 and it's my birthday month and I'm giving out a printable every video this month. And today it's this black and white doodle that I did a while ago on this very glossy slick paper in this sketchbook that my daughter gave me and here's a quick peek of what some of the things are that I've done in this but I have a long way to go to finish this book it's kind of a large size so a little intimidating to get in there and work on it but I liked it and so I thought it'd be a great idea to use this as a uh, printable for you now I've tried some different things I wanted to to print it onto like the surgical tape and this uh, double-sided tape, tissue paper, this beet stained paper, that was fun, and this mulberry paper, this white one, and then, then this, I don't even know where I got this, but I've had it for a really long time. It's also a mulberry fibrous paper, but it has this thing in the middle and it looks like a dragon. So I thought that that's a cool little thing, but I just wanted to see how a printout on it would look. And uh, I just like how this paper feels, the mulberry paper feels. So it was, these are what I chose to print onto these. So yeah, just an experiment to see what else I could print on top of. So that's always a fun thing to try. And these are the results. This is the mulberry paper and I really loved how that turned out. It's uh, It's got the border where I had to tape it, but I could see that being part of a journal page. Just really cool. And here's the tissue paper. And it slid out. Yeah, so the under paper behind it uh, kind of slid out. But I only got part of the print, which was great. And that's, this is what the um, surgical tape ended up looking like. It's a little, little dull, but it still looked good. This also the white paper got uh, underneath of it first as it was printing at, as it was pulling out through the printer and ended up on the bottom of this one and this is the beet beet dyed and I really like how this one turned out because it's just random randomness so the double-sided tape is a no kind of knew that because it's got a waxy finish you know I thought I'd give it a shot just to see but that's a no um, and also just the regular uh, scotch tape not a good not a good fit for printing through the printer so kind of thought it might do that but that's all right we have to try these things it's experimenting and it's curiosity and it's wonder and let's find out things <laughs> in our creativity so I loved how these turned out so I'm happy to have these part of my stash now my go-to um, for accents and whatever I'm going to use them in but here's a Here's some print. Here's the regular printables from the download, and I am just going to smush color these, and that is just one of my favorite things to do to color on paper. It's just the smush smush technique, and you can use any kind of plastic or like I have this stamping block, which I hardly ever use for stamping but the plastic and the stamping block and then some of the Tim Holtz distress inks. I've got a few little stacks of these things and I kind of have them in color families. So let's get these apart. So this is kind of the oranges and the reds. And then I'm gonna just do some smushing. I love the smush technique. Did I say that already? I think I, I have, and that's what I do. I love the smush technique. If I need a background on something, this is one of my go-tos. So, also I have a little water spray bottle handy, and that's going to, that's just water in there, and I'm just gonna spread it all over onto the stamping block. There you can see it a little bit better. I've had these inks a while, so they are, they're well, well loved, but I'm, you know, again, if they get a little, a little dried out, I just give them a spritz of water on the ink pad and they come right back to life. 
And here's where the magic happens. Just flip it over and dab it down. And you can already see the pretty color that's coming out from it. Isn't that nice? Just lovely. And then th these are great because you can customize them to whatever color book you're working on or project you're working on. It's customizable. And you can, if you felt like it, it could just be a col an adult coloring page. Get your pencils out and just color it however you want. That's another idea. Absolutely <laughs> easy, easy to do. Take it with you when you're out and about and just color on it. You know, if you're waiting at the dentist office or the doctor's office or your child's soccer game or whatnot, just take some colored pencils or, you know, some watercolor brush pens or something and just paint on it or color on it. Crayons for that matter. I thought this might be a good print for, say, like sheets or something because <laughs> it's just kind of these loose, fluffy flowers. I got to make sure I put the lids on the right ink pad here. Give me just a second to do that. So this one is fine. I like how it turned out. I'm going to do the same thing with, yeah, and I store them upside down in my drawer. I'm going to do the same thing with a couple other color families on the other sheet. I've got the greens, and the blues and purples that I'm going to show here in just a minute. And let's see how the greens turn out first. And I'm going to use a plastic bag this time. What an easy way. I, lo I love these, these inks. They're just, there's, I have only the three sets, the greens, the blues, purples, and then the orange reds. And I use those exclusively. I mean, there's, I don't need to have any more. <laughs> they fit perfectly in my little drawer and I use them for a lot of different things. They aren't, um, they aren't just for junk journaling, um, making edges darker. They're actually really great ways to add color and so easy to any kind of a page. And I spritz it with some water and you can't see much about it right now, but wait till it flips over. There we go. I do have the glare with the plastic, but let's see what it reveals. Oh, pretty. I need a little more color though. I think my greens are getting a little dull. Let's add some more blue. That's nice. Spritz it and slap it down. Okay, and I keep going on and do this for a little while and you'll see the results here in a few minutes.
and as you can see what a pretty result and I can probably go back and add a few more blobs of color on there if I want to but I like the results I think it's really nice um, I'm gonna dry it here in a little bit just to give it a little more um, give it a minute to solidify on there and uh, yeah I love again such an easy way to add color to something and then these pages you can make to be whatever color you are working on on your project that's just the beauty of black and white anything or leave it black and white if you're making a black and white album or black and white journal black and white art project um, abstract you can cut it into strips or cut it into shapes maybe cut out a couple of the individual flowers if you're so inclined that might be a little tricky but I really like how it turned out so well I hope that's something that you can use in your in finding your intrinsic values uh, these printables and this technique of customizing it these techniques I should say plural and uh, I wonder if you've got any other ideas of what you could print on I mean you can print on coffee dyed paper or um, music that would be fun to print on and I like these little strips here and I'm going to cut them up to see what they look like individually just to see what it would look like as a piece of tape if you will type of thing now it won't stick you have to use glue on the back of it um, but you could add color to these as well as, as customizing to customize them and even this strip is still okay just that skinny part I'd cut off yeah I like this that feels pretty cool too yeah give it some color maybe smush some more color onto that or paint it or what I don't know whatever you can come up with lots of different options right so yeah not not good with the double-sided tape but everything else really nice uh, really nice results just from this one piece of paper this one pretty little print out that's it for today guys I love you I hope this gives you some ideas um, for you to find out your intrinsic values get out your distress inks <laughs> and uh, in your other papers and see what you come up with love you guys take care and as always god bless bye bye